Hi friends and new friends. You know, I'm really starting to like this new development system from the Dash core group when it comes to Dash platform releases. They seem to be sensing the anticipation in the Dash community and they're working extra hard. Incremental improvements are being made on every release and this all brings us closer to the mainnet release which will happen eventually that's going to energize the whole community. On this CATV episode, we're going to be going over version 14 which was just released. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi. And you're watching Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world, an alternative to cash. If this is something that you're interested in, you want to learn more about Dash, or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now onto the topic of today's show. Well, there were some key improvements that were introduced in version 14 of Dash Platform, and in this episode, we're going to go through them right now. Hello, and welcome to Cash Alternative TV's continuous coverage of Dash Platform releases. This is uh, the version number 14 for the Dash Core Group, and we're going to go through over all the improvements that it offers and the reasons why it's bringing Dash Platform that much closer to mainstream, to mainnet adoption. So if you, when, it, when it goes on mainnet, it's going to be a day for, of much rejoicing for the Dash network. So we're very happy to uh, see an incremental uh, progress on a, on a regular basis. So this blog post was from Dana Alley Brandy, and uh, it says release announcement Dash platform version 14 is now on EvoNet. So everybody's very excited in the Dash network for that. And we're going to go over the reasons why right now. So the, the recent commitment by Dash Core Group to do uh, incremental releases on a regular basis has been very good for the Dash community. It's very good for keeping everybody involved, keeping everybody fresh and current. And they're running like a well-oiled machine now. And it's something that I'm, I'm pretty proud of them because in the past it's, it's been years, it seems like it's been years between releases sometimes. Evan Duffield at the beginning, it was chop, chop, chop. There was a release almost every day, almost a new version. I mean, that might not be so good either, but it definitely keeps people engaged. But this rhythm that they found, Dash Core Group, of uh, releasing every four to six weeks seems to have hit the sweet spot, and we're appreciative of that. So Dash Core Group is pleased to announce the release of Dash Platform version 14. This is the third release in our newly defined process, and our fifth release overall, where observers of Dash's development can expect new functionality delivered roughly every six weeks. In that regard, observers can expect the next release to arrive sometime between August 25th and September 8th. So we at Cash Alternative TV better mark our calendars. That'll be our next uh, going through of this uh, blog post by the Dash Core Group. So what's the big deal with this release? We, we, version 13 just dropped. Now that they had to wipe EvoNet and now version 14 is out. So the release highlights is, as usual, due to the breaking changes introduced in this release, all data in EvoNet has been wiped. So if you're a developer, you have to keep re wiping the data and uh, starting over on the next version. Developers should make adjustments to their local setups to reflect this. Below you'll find a list of the most important updates. You can view all of the updates in greater detail by visiting the release notes for each platform component, which are included in the last section of this article. So the ability to record timing of operations is very important to keep things running smoothly on Dash platform. You have to know when things are happening, uh, when things were confirmed, when things were um, you know, going into your programming for when you're building applications. So they introduced document timestamps. Being able to record the creation or update time of any given document stored on Dash platform has significant implications for many use cases. Furthermore, timestamping documents opens possibilities for application optimization. Example, fetching only new updated op uh, documents. Consequently, we have added two new optional protocol defined document properties, created at and updated at. These properties can be marked as required in a data contract and values are set up by the Dash SDK and validated against the platform chain block time. Filtering or sorting documents by creation or update time can be accomplished by designating these properties as indexes in a data contract. So this is something that gives the Dash platform a little bit of extra added functionality and a better use case, a better flow of work. And also there's better organization and testing in this version with a platform test suite. So what's a platform test suite? Well, we're going to go into it now. Platform team developers have consolidated all Dash platform functional and end-to-end -end tests into one single tool. This tool ships as a Docker image and allows developers to run tests against any platform compatible network or local node. 
In combination with the distribution package, it has allowed the platform team to set up a comprehensive continuous integration workflow for platform components. This workflow makes testing integration of platform components significantly easier, speeds up development, and makes release times more predictable, fosters more robust secure releases. Developers can read more about the test suite by visiting the GitHub repository, Platform Test Suite. So if you guys are wondering how to reach my YouTube channel, because this is going to be in the description below, if you're watching me on another platform, you can find the YouTube information at dashnation.com forward slash guide. And that link's going to be below intermittently as well. So it's also a more customizable setup. Before you could just have a Docker image and uh, they, you had to run from that, but now you can set up your own and local, uh, local host. So it's an improved distribution package. The distribution package received many improvements with this release, especially for local development. To prepare your local standalone node, the platform team introduced the setup for local development com command, as well as two options for the start command that allows developers to build Drive and Dappy from source code, as opposed, as opposed to the default pre-built Docker images. So that's interesting for people that want to have a more hands-on approach with their programming. And also big improvements to Dappy, and this is something that was uh, very important for me because I think having a decentralized API is one of the best things that you can do for a decentralized network. Because the problem with a decentralized network is always that you have to have a different wallet on every device that you have, right? But if you, if you have the de decentralized API and you can access it anywhere with a username and a password, and you can access any Dash platform application with the same username and password from anywhere in the world, this is the thing that ties it all together. You know, Dash has smooth transactions, it's private, instant, and secure. We know that, we, we know that it works, but having that ease of use is the next level, and that's what the, D the Dappy is gonna bring to the table. So it's a new and improved Dappy client. Platform team developers completely rewrote Dappy client to improve code, use, code quality, usability, and testability. In the new ver version, developers can specify exact Dappy code node addresses or inject their own custom logic to obtain select nodes as opposed to only being able to use seeds before. All Dappy client methods accept the same options as the Dappy client constructor, so developers can specify different behavior for each API call. Previously, faulty nodes were excluded for a specific API call. Now faulty nodes are banned for a specific period of time, which increments exponentially in the, re in the event of repeated faults. So this is a wonderful message that we just went through all the things that uh, version 14 is bringing and those are some uh, pretty big changes in some cases uh, and this is just a, a parting message by dana and he's talking about uh, the, how, how everything is wor working right now and it's working very well and we're uh, we're very happy to have these people in dash nation we're very happy to have the hardworking dash developers building the new version and it's working out well so in conclusion, first and foremost, he'd like to thank the platform team for their continued effort and dedication to developing and releasing Dash Platform. He'd also like to thank the other Dash Core Group developers, as well as the developers organizing on the Dash Devs Discord, which is chat at chat.dashdevs.org. Chat.dashdevs.org. If you're a developer, that's the best place you can go for support and help with your Dash project. For their ongoing effort to improve the quality of Dash Platform, as Dash Core Group continues in our mission to deliver true digital cash, thus realizing the revolutionary potential of blockchain-based financial networks, it's important to take the moment and celebrate the time and energy that has gone into developing this cutting-edge technology, and I quite agree. During DCG's Q Q2 quarterly call, we committed to delivering Dash Platform to Testnet by the end of the year. So right now, it's, the distinction is it's on EvoNet, which is kind of like a pre-Testnet, but they want to put it on actual testnet later to expose it to a greater audience to have the apps that are, are going to be on the dash platform to, for people to interact with them so that's going to be the next thing that's going to be happening in the development after this release observers can expect four more releases before the delivery to testnet upon which dash platform will enter a new phase of its product life cycle life cycle one defined by growth promotion and use case identification oh i can't wait that's going to be great i'm a poet and i don't even know it so here's your contact info guys if you want to know anything more about what I just said. Follow the Dash blog and social media channels for more releases and updates. And as usual, your thoughts, feedback, and pull requests are greatly appreciated. So if you don't know anything about Dash, you're just watching me for the first time, Dash can be found, the information can be found at dash.org. And the Dash Developer Discord, like I said, I'm going to say it again because it's very important. If you're a developer, this is the place to go. It's chat.dashdevs.org. 
And if you take away the chat, it says dash devs.org. That gives you a lot of information about Dash platform and Dash in general and developing on Dash. So chat.dashdevs.org is the place. And if you're wondering about me, Cash Alternative TV or the Dash Nation movement, you can find out more at dashnation.com forward slash guide. Looking forward to seeing you in Dash Nation. Well, that's my, uh, pr my coverage of the version 14. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. Well, that was my presentation all about Dash Platform version 14 and all the fine stuff that they've accomplished with it. I hope you've enjoyed it. You've been watching Cash Alternative TV, which is the official video channel of Dash Nation. Dash Nation is a global group of financial freedom advocates who believe in Dash as a future digital cash for the world. It's unity through financial freedom. Find out how to join the Blue Hearts today at dashnation.com forward slash guide. We look forward to seeing you in Dash Nation. Well, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a better money for a better future. And that future is getting closer every day. Bye for now.